For this video, I'm going to show you how to format a document correctly in Microsoft Word. The first thing you'll notice is that I'm using a Mac. If you have a PC, Word looks a little bit different, but I think you can still follow my basic rules and you'll be able to format your document properly. The first thing, and the most important thing, is to make sure that Word is set in English. I know that you guys probably have Word on your laptops and it's set in your native language. This isn't good because then you won't get these little red squiggly lines that tell you that you've misspelled a word. Spell check and grammar check are really helpful, but they only help you if your settings are in English. To make sure your settings are in English, you should have a Tools tab. When you go to the Tools tab, there's an option Language. If you click on it, you want to choose English US as your language and press OK. This is especially important for my Arabic speaking students. As I'm sure you guys know, in Arabic, everything is written from right to left, but in English, we write from left to right. And so what happens when my Arabic speaking students write papers and Word is in Arabic is that all of their formatting is crazy. Punctuation is all over the place. It looks really messy. So you need to make sure if you're an Arabic speaking student in particular that you change your language settings to English. Now, the next thing we're going to do is check our margins. This is pretty simple. There's a layout tab in Microsoft Word and one of the options is margins. On your Mac, you can change them here, but there's usually some preset options. You want the one that says one for all margins, one inch margins for top, left, bottom, and right. This is a nice clean set of margins. This is the way I like it. After that, you wanna check your font. Now, there are many fonts you can use. I'm not too particular about the fonts. I currently have it set with times, that's the font I'm using, and the size is 10. That's kind of small. You can change it, you can make it a little bit bigger, and you can use some different fonts. It's okay with me if you use some different fonts. Calibri is usually the default setting for your word. That's fine. But please don't use any really big fonts or really crazy messy fonts. Some of these fonts are just too much. They're too busy. Don't use those for your paper. Next thing you're going to want to do. The beginning of every paragraph in an English essay must be indented. That means that the first line of any paragraph has an extra space. You create this space by pressing the tab button on your keyboard. Now, I can't show you how to do that on this video because I can't show you my keyboard, but it's very simple. You put your cursor at the beginning of the paragraph and you press tab on your keyboard. And you see it creates a space at the beginning of the paragraph. You need to do this for every paragraph. Make sure that every paragraph begins with this extra space that you get by pressing tab. The final thing that you want to do is create a heading for your paper. At the beginning of any essay you write in English, you always put your name. This seems pretty easy, but I know sometimes students like to put their name at the end of the paper. That may be okay in your country, but in English we like to have your name first at the top of the paper on the left hand side. You can also add more information, like the date, if you want to, October 17, 2014. You could add the name of the class. That's not necessary, but this additional information can be helpful for the teacher. But definitely make sure that you put your name at the top. If you follow all of these instructions, you will have a perfectly formatted paper, and it will help you get a much better grade on the assignment in my class.